It's the end of an era in Ward 1 as Bud Polhill unexpectedly lost his seat. How am I feeling? I'm yeah. probably relieved. Like it, it, it had to end sometime and it, it, now's the time. Bud reflected on his time on council as his plans after his term ends in December. I'm probably just going to get off my life, you know, because this is this has controlled my life for not, for 26 years. I, I I can look back at everything I did, and I don't think and I think I did a lot of good stuff for the city. That's a long time to be on council, and and uh, I think uh, continuous service. That's probably the longest of anybody who's been on this council. And like I said, it just had to come to an end sometime, uh, and, and it came to an end tonight. Sometimes a, a turnover like this is a very positive thing. This is what London wanted, and uh, the voters are never wrong. Bud Polhill is one of five incumbents losing their seats in an unprecedented election that will see many new faces on city council that will have a steep learning curve ahead of them. Ward 1 and new elected Mike Van Holst will have Pole Hill's years of experience to draw upon. I'm not abandoning the people in the ward. Uh, and just because he's the guy who, who, who goes to City Hall doesn't mean I'm going to abandon the people uh, that, I, that I've represented for 26 years. But Pole Hill and his two children, Steve and Sherry, were in the running tonight. Though it looks like Sherry is the only one going home a winner. Though Bud has taken this in stride, his daughter Sherry is heartbroken over her father's loss. You know, my dad uh, loves the ward that he lives in, and um, he's a, been a big part of the community. So, I, um, I, you know, I know he's going to miss representing them. Being involved in the community to make a difference is a way of life for the Pole Hill family, and will likely continue. So I don't think that there's um, there's any way around him being involved, but I'm hoping that he gets to spend some more time with family and grandchildren. So. Jennifer Cork, Fanshawe TV News.